already on the first day of the European Championships here in Schwächert in Austria. We've seen quite some thrilling matches, especially the host nations matches uh, in the women's team, Austria against Turkey. Austria showed a very good performance, beating the very difficult to beat Turkish team 3-0 and then they did another very impressive step by beating the reigning European champion, the Netherlands, in a very impressive manner 3-1. Especially Liu Jia did a very, very good performance by beating Liu Zhao and to my point of view um, the hopes of the host nation will rise up especially from the tomorrow's quarterfinal against Germany they have to play very well, well in order to beat the German team but I'm sure the host nation will try their best and uh, they have to lift up the flags of the Austrian national team as the Austrian men's team uh, lost 0-3 against a very very strong German team to my point of view quite impressive the way the German team was performing today because we should not forget Timo Ball had to withdraw from this European Championships and uh, now the German team had to perform without their star and number one player but they did it in a very very good and impressive way Dimitri Ovcherov, Patrick Baum and Patrick Franziska beat the Austrian team 3-0 and uh, all my credit goes to this German team and they will meet the winner of Poland and Sweden in the tomorrow's quarterfinal. I was leading 2-0 and uh, after Patrick changed a little bit his service to my middle, this, I didn't catch it so good and that's why I make some mistakes in the third set, also tactic mistakes, And uh, but uh, I think in the fourth set I was leading 6-3, I already I had quite good control of uh, the game and I made some concentration mistakes with my forehand topspin, he had some lucky balls and uh, that's it, then after it's uh, going quite fast. In the fifth uh, game, it was quite the same, uh, we, I, he was always leading two points, after I come back with my service and everybody win his service. Yet again some lucky balls, but uh, again some, when I had my chance uh, I made some mistakes with the forehand toss pin and it was I think the biggest reason why I lost the game. Another thrilling match to my point of view was the match between uh, Spain and Belarus. And one more time we show the uh, gentleman-like playing style of Vladimir Samsonov who had to struggle a bit more than he probably expected uh, but at the end he succeeded and take nearly as usual two points against Spain by beating uh, Carlos Mercado and Marc Duran at the end in a very impressive way and this is very often the recipe of the Belarusian success two points of uh, Vladimir Samsonov and one more point together this time it was the match uh, from Pavel Platanov um, who was able to beat Jesus Cantero from Spain. Altogether, all my credit also to the Belarusian team who did a good step to reach the quarterfinal. The first day of uh, this European Championships here in the Werner Schlager Academy here in Schwächert showed that the Austrian team did a very good preparation. They are very well known for organizing these kind of big events and uh, to my point of view also we should mention that it's not the Austrian Federation who had the most participants but the Werner Schlager Academy. Altogether we had 28 players from the Werner Schlager Academy who took a place here in the European Championships and I really hope and I keep my fingers crossed that the, at, the, at the end the Werner Schlager Academy is able to win some medals here at the Europeans. Um, after I've been talked to quite some players, uh, we got the feedback that uh, they are quite happy, especially with the food. Austria is famous for good food and so are these European Championships. Everything is very well organized, the hotels are not too far away and I'm sure the players are ready to do their best and uh, I'm also sure the Austrian organization will do their part.